Have you heard? There's a new way to create QuickBase apps. It's as easy as drag and drop. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Join me as I build a simple lemonade stand app using the new Visual Builder for the first time. To try the new Visual Builder, I'm gonna create a new app. I can choose to try building our new app with the QuickBase Visual Builder with this link. To test this out, I'm gonna create an app for a pink lemonade stand. There we go, looks like a pink lemonade stand to me. Okay, so I haven't used this a lot, it's brand new. So you're kind of learning with me here. I'm gonna pull in some tables. It's a simple drag and drop. This first table is gonna be our lemonade. And then I'll need to drag in another table for our sales. Again, keeping this really simple. So on our lemonade table, I'm gonna to need to add some fields. Let's add a date field. Let's call it date made. I'll add another field for cost. Use this drop down here, currency. Maybe we want some more date fields. Put dates sold. And let's add a couple of date times for open and close time. Open and closed. So you can see I can add additional fields simply by clicking on the next row. There's also an add field button here, which just adds a field. I can delete, and then I could also drag and drop fields from the left toolbar here. Very interesting. I can change the icon. Let's make this little drop of lemonade. Close that, option to delete. Great. That field set. I'm going to create the relationship by dragging this corner icon over and it'll pull up my relationship. So each batch of lemonade can have multiple sales. I can edit the relationship. Interesting, it doesn't give me the subsequent options to choose my lookups and such. I probably have to do that after the table is created. All right now on my sales table, add a date time for sold on. We'll add cups sold. And then a formula for total sale. Maybe we've even got Can't edit any of these actual fields yet to include my formulas. Oh, wait, you see that here on the right, I've got some options. Okay, so I can set a few options, but it looks like maybe I'll be able to do the formula in the future, just not with this current release. So let me choose a few others. Interesting. Let's add a multiple choice field. So I don't see the option to actually enter the multiple choice items. Perhaps that'll be an option as well in the future. Go ahead and delete that since I didn't need it. Update my icon. Bag of money. Close that. Now I can create my app and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have our lemonade table. Can add new batches of lemonade. And we've got our sales. We can sell the various batches of lemonade. Let's look at that relationship. Interesting. It automatically made lookup fields for the first two fields that I added to my lemonade table onto the sales table. 
So it may or may not be what you want, but you can always adjust it here. But it's definitely something to make note of. All in all, I think it's a very visual, obviously, very visual way to build out your tables and the fields. Personally, I like to have a little bit more control. Um, maybe that's just because I'm a bit more experienced builder and I'm very familiar with the old way of doing things. Um, and I find it very quick to create tables and set up the relationships, just so. But I think for a new builder especially, this can be quite useful to use the visual method to create the tables and relationships. If I miss something or you want to call something out that you found fun, go ahead and add it to the comments. We'll see you next time. If you learned something new, please like this video. And to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.